Hi guys, it's Sue. I just wanted to let you know I am starting my dot painting and I am still using the uh, Jacquard Lumiere metallic paint for fabric. And I have a couple of things that I like to use when I paint dots. Um, I kind of made these up myself because I really didn't like, you can't really use a paintbrush. It's not um, a good enough dot. So I have, I think these are just drill bits, and I put a little masking tape on it to protect my hand, but it has a nice flat, oh, let me get that in focus, it has a nice flat surface. So I like to just take and dip it in my paint, get a little bit on there, and then I place a dot right there. And each time that I place a dot, I dip it in the ink. Um, if you're working on rocks or glassware or anything like that, you can actually extend your paint down and get your dot smaller. But on fabric, you really can't do that. The other um, tool that I like to use is if you guys get your nails done, you've probably seen those little, I'm not sure if they're called bots, but... All they are is a little tiny ball on one end. So what I've done was um, taken a Q-tips, a Q-tip, and taken a pen and stuck it into the end of the Q-tip. And then I can just take and do the same thing. Oh, that doesn't come in good. There we go. And um, I was doing those for the smaller dots here. So let's see. Hmm. Not really a place. I guess I could do it here. It's not going to be as big a dot. There. So you could do that as well. So I have um, one of my larger straight pins. Oh, I wish this would come in better. One of my larger straight pins here. And then on the other end, I have a smaller one so I can get even smaller dots. And like I said, that's just the end of a Q-tip. So there you go for ingenuity. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish working this up. And I'll let you know how it goes. All right. Bye.